some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Brunswick, Tennessee with a, a rather moronic maggot of a frauditor uh, go that goes by the name Gen Express. And, uh, well, he ends up getting run out of town after antagonizing uh, some of the population. And, well, it is a funny sight to behold. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy watching this moron run away from the very population that he antagonized. Check it out, guys. This is a post office. <laughs> Oh, wow, a post office. Easy pickings for a frauditing maggot such as yourself. What's up, Gen X family? Out here in Brunswick, Tennessee. Look at this post office. It's going to say I walk you around the building, but the building's like a quarter of a block long. Over here you have some office buildings and places like that. Very strange. Now, Brunswick, Tennessee, this area out here, I don't know, man. Maybe it's just slipped me and I haven't known many people out here or, or whatever. But there's a ton of huge houses out here. So the suburban sprawl, the great white flight, if you will, has made its way out here. Right after this video, I'm going to go over to Lakeland, hopefully. But yeah, there it is. Boring! Brunswick Post Office. Brunswick, Tennessee. Let's check it out. Poster 7 right there. I know you're not a very good, uh, well, reader, considering if you have actually read that poster, you would know that, uh, that filming is not allowed in the post office unless you have the permission of somebody in charge of that building. So let me go ahead and play a uh, clip of As Elmo's attempt at reading Poster 7 and his obvious attempt at, uh, Cherry picking uh, paragraphs. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except we're prohibited. Okay, it's not pro prohibited here. There are a number of things you glossed over in that. You didn't even complete the whole damn paragraph, and what you did read, you glossed over. The most important part that you did read, but totally ignored, was the part when used for public meetings. And there are no public meetings going on right there. So you don't have the authorization to do that without the installation head, which covers the last half of the paragraph you did not read. I will read the last part of the paragraph for you then. Prohibited by official signs or security force personnel or other authorized personnel or a federal court order or rule, other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the local postmaster or installation head. Camera. Another camera. There's the back. Camera, camera. Another camera. Cool. How many customers did you guys get today? I don't know. A lot or?
I mean, I'm just, this is a question. Uh, listen, douchebag, uh, this man's job is not to count how many customers he has in a single day. Uh, that's record keeping for another person to do. This man's job is in dealing with the uh, customers themselves, not counting them. So unless this guy is obsessed with statistics, I doubt he would even know that number because, you know, he's way too busy to keep track. Which basically means this guy has a job to keep himself busy. Unlike you, a frauding maggot who is uh, trying to antagonize everybody he sees. I don't know. On average. I don't know. Okay. Let's see here. All right. I'll be around here for a little bit. Just carry on. Yeah, here's the poster seven. I think it's updated to 2016 if you look right there. It's a little warm in here too, so I don't know. I guess it is a trailer, so we'll hang out right out here. Uh, that was a, a very uh, weird interaction. You really want to talk about weird interactions? Well, uh, dude, you're gonna have some weird ones with the uh, population here in just a few moments, but you're the one who's gonna be weird. Guess that guy doesn't see many people every day. Had the personality of a fucking pine cone. Here's a Karen across the street. Huh? If there's one thing a frauditor doesn't like, it's a cam backer. I mean, every time somebody pulls out their camera and starts to record them, they seem to get upset. As if they don't see the irony in upsetting other people and then them getting upset in return by the uh, people around them pulling the same thing on them. Goodness gracious, are you going to get butt hurt now? She might not be a camera. It's just a cam back. Yeah, Brunswick, Tennessee is where we're at right now. Yeah, that guy had the personality of a doorknob. If I can ask him a question, it was an sim easy question, simple to simple to answer. You don't really have to if you don't want to, but are you got, I mean, you know, on average, how many customers do you guys get a day? I mean, it's an interesting question because look at how small this place is. I mean, shit. I don't even know if I can stick around long enough to have a damn uh, interaction with someone out here. Are you stupid or something? Frauder, you need to be quiet. You need to uh, keep your lips sealed on that kind of thing because you just admitted that uh, you're only out here for the interactions. Oh my goodness, dude. You just blew the whole game. That's how long? So I'm not going to stick around here all damn day. Because we might not even get a customer. But that dude in there was worth the trip out here. What a silly bastard. Yep. Must be going to lunch. Or maybe he had somebody else in the back. Yeah, probably had somebody else in the back. Oh, there he goes again. It's like his brain starts working a little bit and then it pulls back. It's very strange. Watch it. Are you gonna record my license plate and stuff too? I mean I'm just out and record what I can see in public. It's legal. He speaks. Hey, what's going on? What's that? How you doing? All right. What, what you 
doing? Oh. Mama told me if I record in public, it's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Oh, how mature doing a Forrest Gump impression, trying to antagonize everybody around here. Oh my, that won't lead to any uh, negative issues. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be all positive. Well, what's that supposed to mean? I may not be a, far sm a smart man, but I know what the First Amendment is. Well, I know, but, but, I know, but, hey, Josh, are you here? Yeah. Uh, I know what the Constitution it. is. Well, I know, but what, I mean, I understand. I don't care if you, you can record all well, day you long. You came over here, so clearly you care. Well, I'm just curious. I mean, it's, you're kind of weird looking. You got uh, sunglasses on. You got the mask on. That shirt's kind of weird looking. Those usually, shoes, those boots are weird looking. Usually when people wear masks in, in, in open open air, it's because they want a high dry identity. No, actually, I the reason I'm wearing a mask is because I read today that COVID's on the uptick 10 times what it was last month. Hey, I got some advice for you, Frauditor. If you're so concerned about COVID this year, why don't you go ahead and uh, quarantine yourself at home? I mean, you'd uh, be a lot better off, and so would everybody else. Not to mention the fact that you're uh, wearing a, a mask in public and uh, hiding your eyes. And, well, there's one more surprise that's going to come out here in a moment that makes you want to question your maturity level further. Well, That's the reason I'm wearing a mask. Well, if you're worried about... Do I know you? Food? Because you're asking me a lot of questions like I know you, like I'm not a stranger. Well, you do, you come up to all, do you come up to all strangers and, and ask them a hundred questions? I come up to weirdos. Okay, well, people I'm... Who are, people who are strange. People, yes, people, who, people who protect our First Amendment uh, rights. So I believe in the First Amendment all, more than you do. Didn't you come out of that gun store over there? Are you a 2A guy? Because if you're a 2A guy, you should be a 1A guy. No, they don't have a notary, but this guy right here, he might be a notary. It, this guy, this if you're a 2A guy, you should be a 1A guy. What the hell, man? They go together. What the hell out of here? I wish you'd take a bath. You stink like a punk guy. Do I? Yeah. You do? Yeah, that's why I just got out of the shower. Mama said filming in public is like a box of chocolates. You'd never know what you're going to get. Sorry, no. I get, I guess, I guess. Get ready, everybody. He's about to do something stupid. I'm, I'm done talking. You can talk to the hand. Hi! My name's Ivan! You're gonna be famous tonight! You're gonna be famous! Smile for the camera! Oh, okay. I really have no words for this at this moment. This is just, well, indescribably, well, moronic. <laughs> I don't know why a First Amendment guy wouldn't... I don't know why a Second Amendment guy wouldn't respect the First Amendment. Sure! Absolutely! You need an education today, so call them! They're gonna make you look like a fool! Okay, I'm done with you. I don't answer questions. Is that your car right there? I don't answer questions. Well, I, I, you're going to answer this question. Is that your car right there? Do you see a fucking sign that says no parking over there? A uh, dude, he owns that land over there. Uh, he is essentially the one that can tell you to park there or not to park there because that is his business over there, you moron, which is something you're about to find out, which is one of the reasons why you run like a scared little doggy. It's pri pri private. Do you, where, show me a sign where it says no parking. Okay. Show me a sign where it says no parking. And you fucking do that because when the cops come now, now when the cops come, your ass is going to jail for assault. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get my. Oh, yeah. Threatening, threatening a vehicle. Threatening a vehicle. What the fuck is wrong with y'all out here? It's a goddamn camera. Have y'all lost your fucking minds? Don't talk like what? 
Hey, I'm in public, sir. I'll talk the way that way I fucking want to talk. Well, you know there's such things as verbal assault. You know, no, there's not. Seem, seem pretty no, there's not. not. I am telling you, sir, no, there's not. Get your car off my Show me car. a fucking sign. I'm telling you, get the car Show off me a sign and I will move I own vehicles. this building. Where's the sign? I don't have to give you a sign. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, either. you do. Well, I'm about to block you in. Well, you know I'm about what? To block you in right now. You know what? I'll leave. Oh, yeah. Shut the fuck up, douchebag. Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to come back out here, but I'm gonna have to get a uh, to get an Uber back out here because what's going on is these motherfuckers here wanna uh, they're gonna try to get the cops out here to roll me up, and that shit's not happening. So we'll we'll come back to this. Yeah, yeah, whatever, you frauding maggot. Do that, and, uh, well, I'm sure they'll be only too happy to run you out of town again. And besides, uh, what you did in that town was probably one of the dumbest frauditor maneuvers I've ever seen. I, I, I don't think I've seen any frauditors use a hand puppet before like that, but whatever. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?